Welcome back to Photography by Harrison. And with all the bad weather across the country, you know, the rain, the snow and all that, it might be hard to get outside and do some video. But guess what? You'd be surprised what you can find inside your house. And since tomorrow, it will actually be today when this runs, Super Bowl Sunday, I'm going to show you how I prepare my favorite Super Bowl dish. So come along with me and let me show you what's going on here. These are the ingredients we'll be using tonight, as you see. My two cups of milk, cup and a half of sugar, my vanilla, vanilla flavoring, four eggs, and of course, the main ingredient, the vanilla wafers. You will notice in this picture there is no bananas. Why? Because I do not put bananas in my banana pudding. Now, let's get cooking this custard. And to get started cooking, you need a double boiler, or if you don't have a double boiler, just a pot filled with water, and another pot will work fine. And the reason you do it this way, you want the water to heat up the bottom of the pot, because remember, milk has a very low scorching temperature. And for my mixing bowl, I'll be using this little Tar Heel container. We start with the flour. Add the sugar. A pinch of salt. Mix well together. We will use a different Tar Heel container to mix the eggs and milk. We start with the milk. Add four eggs and stir well. Now let's add both containers together. Now we're ready to mix, and the reason I added the flour and the sugar together because the flour was actually thickens the custard. If you added the flour too late to the mixture, it would just get all lumpy, and no one wants lumpy, lumpy custard. So we add in a sugar and flour mixture, of course with that pinch of salt. And we add our eggs and a milk combination. And we just let it cook. Thanks to the magic of editing, we fast forward through the cooking process, add the vanilla flavor, and we're now ready for the wafers. I like to have fun when I am cooking, so I just dump all the wafers in like a little kid. Now we're going to cover the wafers with the custard. Now all you got to do, put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. And that's how I prepare my favorite Super Bowl snack. Now you might, your snack might be different, but this is my favorite Super Bowl snack. You also notice I did not put all the custard in there, I left a little bit in the pot, that's so for later I can make a real small one, that way I can test it, because it's not up to my standards, and I have people coming over, well, in years past you would have had people coming over, you know, to watch the Super Bowl, and if it's not up to my standards, I chunk the whole thing, and start back over. So now, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this banana pudding Super Bowl journey, and I will see you after the Super Bowl.